Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about liver ultrasound probe positioning. On the left side, we have a schematic representation of probe placement and on the right side is the corresponding image. This white box is the ultrasound probe. The red dot is the indicator or the orientation marker. It is facing towards the right side of the patient. These dotted lines represent the right and left coastal margins. This is the umbilicus. The patient is in a supine position. The probe is placed in the midline in transverse orientation just below the coastal margin and you will see the left lobe in transverse view. This is the left lobe and we can also see the left portal vein. It has a hyperechoic wall. This bright line is the ligamentum venosum and posterior to that is the caudate lobe. If there is difficulty in visualizing the left lobe, ask the patient to take a deep breath. Next, rotate the probe 90 degrees clockwise. Now the indicator is directed towards the patient's head and the probe is in longitudinal orientation. Move a little to the left of the midline and scan the left lobe thoroughly all the way to the edge of the liver. You will also see the pancreas posterior to the liver. This small round anechoic structure is the splenic artery. This large rounded structure behind the pancreas is the splenic vein. The stomach may also be seen. It will look like a structure with alternating bright and dark layers. Now move to the right of the midline and you can locate the caudate lobe of the liver. This is the caudate lobe right behind the ligamentum venosum. This large vessel is the inferior vena cava. It is the IVC because it is to the right of the midline. This is the hepatic vein draining into the IVC. This anechoic structure is the superior mesenteric vein. While staying in longitudinal orientation, move further to the right of the patient, just below the right coastal margin. You will start to see the porta hepatis around this area. It will be seen in the middle of the right coastal margin approximately. Locate the portal vein and its entry into the liver. This is the portal vein with hyperechoic walls. Then rotate the probe slightly anti-clockwise until you see the common bile duct. It will be anterior to the portal vein. This is the common bile duct. You can measure its diameter in this view. Move even further to the right side of the patient while keeping the probe slightly rotated anti-clockwise and you will see more of the right lobe of the liver. Sweep left and right to scan the right lobe completely. You will see the gallbladder, portal veins and the hepatic veins. Keep going right along the coastal margin until you can see the kidney. Usually it is seen at mid clavicular line. This is the right lobe. This is the right hepatic vein. We can see both the upper and lower poles of the kidney. This band is the psoas muscle. Scan all the way to the right edge of the liver. If needed, 
ask the patient to take a deep breath this will push the liver below the ribs now we will see how to scan the hepatic veins place the transducer parallel to the right coastal margin and place it just below this coastal margin in transverse orientation then ask the patient to take a deep breath after the breath hold angle the probe towards the patient's right shoulder and scan the liver under the coastal margin you will be able to see all three hepatic veins this is the left hepatic vein it will always be in the right half of the image this is the middle hepatic vein and this is the right hepatic vein the right hepatic vein will always be in the left half of the image all three veins are draining into the ivc these are the portal veins with hyperechoic borders the gallbladder is seen here aligning the probe in similar manner ask the patient to take another deep breath and sweep up and down while angling the probe towards the patient's right shoulder and you will locate the porta hepatis this is the liver in transverse view at the level of porta hepatis here is the portal vein and the cbd anterior to it the inferior vena cava is seen in cross section after another breath hold move inferiorly along the coastal margin while keeping the probe parallel to the coastal margin with slight angling towards the patient's right shoulder you can scan the right lobe in transverse view and you will also see the right kidney this hyperechoic structure is the renal sinus fat this is the gallbladder and this small anechoic structure is the ivc there are some differences in individuals regarding actual locations of these organs so propositioning and protocols may be a bit different in different patients thank you so much for watching please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos